It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC South. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today, it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. about ready to get us started and off we go from Jacksonville and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line so the Titans set to go to work for the first time and they will be led out by the youngster the rookie their QB I tell you what when he is on schedule for that week secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Levis will look to throw on the first play from scrimmage. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. From the 21, it's second and 10. Levis out of the shotgun now. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to run. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We're moving right to veteran and continue from there. On first down, Levis. A cock roll holds it in left side. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. 
And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action now. Levis. That'll be complete to a conqueror. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. That is caught. That will go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they're throwing the football so much at a younger level now. Way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings. Just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Levis now on second down. Over the middle, complete. That's Phillips. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. Inside handoff, Henry. And Henry fighting for the marker. But I don't think he got there. He did not. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. They'll try and run the option. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. From the two now, second and goal. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it brings up third. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Third and goal. Here's Levis. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Tajay Spears. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Nick Folk for the point after.
And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick of the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. On first down, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. They go play action with Lawrence. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. They called the corner blitz, and Roger McCreary, he got in there and earned the sack. Well, how about that? The defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignment. He comes through and puts him on the ground. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he just made the punter a little bit jealous there. There was some serious hang time on that ball. Deep downfield, and while it didn't connect, it certainly sent a message, didn't it? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Lawrence. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Lawrence will throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now second and three. Now Lawrence. His throw incomplete. Now that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage. Knew his man was in relation to the football at all times and made a nice play. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Lawrence, he's got his target, that's complete. And he will have the Jaguars first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half.
And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force it at there. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Draw play, ETN. And a nice game there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Here's third and 10. They go play action now, Lawrence. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, 
he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Henry again on second down. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to get to the 31 and not for the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. And the Jags get to him as Johnny goes. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. Now, how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Out of the gun to give the Spears. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Levis looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Spears on second down. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got the hook up to Hopkins. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. 
So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he'll go down at the 28. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Again, it's Henry. And he is going to have a Titans first down, and that should just about do it. And they take a knee. Second and 11 now. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Levis takes a knee here, and that should just about do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching.